The switch used in your miter saw is a simple toggle switch. After years of use, the switch can wear out. It may completely stop working, so you won't be able to turn the saw on at all. It might fail sporadically, working sometimes and not others. Sometimes the motor brake portion of the switch will go bad, making it so the brake doesn't kick on after a cut. Replacing the switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the front half of the handle assembly. Now I can remove the old switch from the housing. First I'll need to remove the cam, then the switch lever, and I'll remove the switch and the switch actuator at the same time. There's a small spring on the switch actuator. I want to be careful that I don't lose that. With the switch removed, I'll note the location of each of the wires and then remove them. Now I can install the new switch. First the yellow wire, then the orange, the black wire from the cord, black wire from the motor, and last, the white wire from the cord. Now I'll place the switch back into the housing. I'll reinstall the actuator. the lever, and the cam. The tab on the back of the cam needs to fit below this plastic piece. Now I'll reinstall the handle housing. Snap it into place and I'll secure it with the screws.
and now I'll reinstall the switch button. And that's how easy it is to replace the switch in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.